Hey guys, welcome to day two of Father Day Sun Adventures with Bitum and Mass. Hey guys. <laughs> Yesterday we did uh, good progress on uh, putting up the first layer. We primed the walls, we put up the first layer on the north side, which is the most poor side to work in. The sun doesn't reach in there, it's cold, wet and horrible. But today we're going to work on the side and the south side so it should be much more pleasant. Okay, so we prepped another bucket of bitumen and you can see the results from yesterday this whole wall is covered nicely we saved ourselves from uh, making the uh, outlines of the pipes we just run pieces horizontally here at the end it was getting dark and we wanted to finish at least the foundation foot and uh, from the last bucket we started putting on the second layer on this side but uh, yeah it got dark pretty fast so this is the status of uh, this is the status of the bitumen for now and we're starting today on the east wall where the sun is when it's where it's warm hey guys two hours have passed and uh, we're almost done with this uh, wall we've put about uh, five nets on the tar paper up to the wall and we used up one bucket of bitumen in the last part we just started putting on the second layer and we're going to take a little break but the work is progressing well at this tempo in uh, maybe five hours we'll be done with the foundation foot and we can move up to the walls and the second layer I'll probably do myself tomorrow yeah, we'll see how it goes. We're up to here. We did uh, four buckets today. We plan to do the fifth to finish this up. And we took the most critical path approach to do only the foundation foot and leave the foundation wall for later. Because when the, if the water level rises, it naturally sits around the foundation foot height. So, this is only the first layer today. It's supposed to rain on tu between Monday and Tuesday in the night according to the forecasts. So I think we're on a good path to success to have this prepped before rainfall. And basically we'll try to finish up today that part. And tomorrow I'll come and apply the second layer of the bitumen for full waterproof before making it fully waterproof before the rain comes 
So we got that wall, this wall, the front, and the inning of the in the front. And yeah, it's really labor some and tiresome work. Really tough. And here we are when we're running out of a bucket, we're applying the second layer here on the front because that's already dry. So we've been working on it from yesterday. And the foundation foot wall has a second layer up to there and the top of the foundation foot around here is the end of the second layer so that's also progress are you tired dad yes i am <laughs> it's good to have somebody to count on <laughs> that's my dad he's beat so am i working in this ditch all week not fun but yeah, so this is the progress for, I don't know, what time is it? 3 hours? 3 30, not that bad. So the plan is to be done around 5, so we can still enjoy some time with our family. And uh, yeah, so that's about one bucket load for one and a half hours for two guys. That's our rate, it's pretty good for us two, we have no real uh, construction experience that big construction experience I guess I'm speaking for myself No to pracowałeś kiedyś na budowie? Na uh, My dad hasn't hasn't worked on uh, any construction other than his own either so yeah limited construction experience but we're doing quite okay I think all right, so the bitumen mass is uh, done all around the house uh, on the foundation foot, the first layer. And here uh, on the front of the house, the north side, we did a second layer on the foundation foot all the way up to here. This is like up to here. And this is all that's left to do the second layer. And we put on the netting above the pipes. So that's really cool and I'll be pumping out water still for tomorrow tomorrow I'll put the second layer all around the foundation foot maybe do the upper netting here on this side if I have the time but as you can see this looks fabulous and it's done all the way up to that corner because behind that corner there's a big puddle of water and uh, thin concrete that's the foundation and tar paper is underwater so I need to move the pumps over there to work there but that's also doable but first I want to get all of this done and then move on to that side and yeah and once this is done then I can sleep safe and we can uh, backfill the foundation uh, put on the uh, thermal isolation and then backfill the foundation and be all happy and ready for winter even though the house might not be done by winter time but the foundation needs to be backfilled otherwise if the clay underneath the house freezes the water will expand and will crack the foundation that's why it's uh, important to put your foundation below the frost line and over here it's one meter so ours is uh, one meter and 20 centimeters below the final grade so we need to do that great so we're safe for frost and stuff all right <laughs> all right guys it's uh, half past five and uh, it's time to go home because it's sunday and i would like to thank my dad very much it, it was pleasure working with you peter <laughs> it's always a pleasure it's working my with pleasure. you <laughs> so my dad helped me out a lot over the weekend and i'm very eternally grateful to you Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. See you guys on the next episode. Bye. Bye.